Jessie V and today we're going to be talking about the creepiest things that were found frozen in ice. Which sounds super weird but you guys would be so surprised of what people have found. This world is such a scary unpredictable place so get ready because we're going to jump right into this video. I'm trying to keep this intro short and sweet for you guys. Sometimes I can't but sometimes I can't. So the first thing that was found frozen in ice was a very deadly virus. For hundreds of years, people have thought that there are terrible things hiding deep underground or frozen in the Arctic, like illnesses that have been eradicated, that somehow find their way back to the surface after being hidden. You guys probably remember from history, the plague was a huge deadly illness that killed a lot of people around the world. And that illness has currently been put to rest, but what if some of those illnesses were kept under the ice and are now melting and being open to the air again? Well, not too long ago, scientists actually found a virus that was hidden in the ice that is about 30,000 years old. There is no known cure for this virus because it is so old, and it has been nicknamed the Pathos Virus, and it is said to be the largest virus on Earth. And this discovery has made scientists say that there could be anything hiding in the ice like illnesses. And especially with global warming making everything melt, all of these things could be exposed to us very, very soon. So guys, let's save the planet as much as we can. The next thing people found was a giant frozen disturbing crater. A crater under Siberia that they named the end of the world is one of the world's largest craters. Oil workers who were flying over Siberia were the first ones to notice the giant hole in the ground and immediately reported their findings. Now scientists were unable to pinpoint how deep this crater actually is and nobody really wants to go way down there to find out, but it reaches about 200 feet across. Now there are different theories as to what caused this massive hole in the ground. Some people think it could have been caused by a giant explosion, and other people think it could have been caused by a giant meteorite. Either way, this giant hole in the earth is definitely disturbing and eerie. The next thing people found is alien markings in the ice. Two friends that were walking along a frozen lake made a strange discovery discovery when they came across this strange formation in the middle of the lake. This strange mass was actually found in Utah, and it just looks like these small patterned holes poking through the ice, but it has such a strange formation that people think it just couldn't be natural. People say it was something aliens left when they visited Earth, and other people speculate it to be a landing spot of a UFO. Some people say it's eggs from some sort of other world, because when you touch this formation, apparently it's slimy and just super weird to touch. They have been doing research on this for so long and they cannot figure out what it is. So this has just remained a mystery and it's creepy. I mean, I do believe in aliens. I believe in other life out there, so. Who knows, it could be real. The next thing they found frozen in ice was plane crash wreckage. Recently, a wreckage site was discovered in Alaska, and apparently this wreckage was from a plane crash that happened back in the 1950s, so this is super, super old. And only half of the plane was actually found, and the other half apparently was frozen in ice along with some of the bodies that were never found. So they found all of this stuck in a glacier, which is crazy, so it was all the plane wreckage and a few skeletons, which is absolutely heartbreaking and horrible to find. The next thing they found frozen in ice was a bunch of old photographs. They say it's because about a hundred years ago, a ship ended up crashing. And because of the crash, all of these old photographs were just sort of thrown into the water and stuck into ice. These photographs were actually inside a lockbox that was in a block of ice. And when they opened it, they found all of these black and white images from the crew members that were actually on this ship. Now, when they looked through these pictures, it was actually very sad because it showed all of the crew members and you can see their worried faces because they knew they were lost. They knew they probably weren't gonna make it. So it's kind of like these photos showed their very last moments. The boat basically crashed into ice and a lot of the crew members actually had to walk the rest of the way that they were going. Some didn't make it, but some actually did end up surviving. But it must have been super eerie to find those pictures. The next thing that 
was found was called a frozen volcano. Now, there are so many things that cold weather can freeze. You would absolutely be surprised at the things that could freeze. But normally you wouldn't think like, oh, a volcano can freeze because of how hot it actually is. Now, technically these aren't active volcanoes that froze, but instead they are frozen formations in the ground. The immense change in temperature when the ground freezes over, then melts, can be enough to form the ground into strange formations. The fairly flat land is interrupted by the perturbing hills that are produced from these icy conditions. It's one of nature's strangest phenomenons. And you guys know how much I love phenomenons. I find this stuff absolutely fascinating and I think it would be so cool to actually be there to see these in person. And the last thing they found in frozen waters were sea pigs. They sound so cute and they actually look kind of cute. Sea pigs are actually as weird as they sound. They're from the South Pole and they're not actually pigs, although they dwell in the sea and realistically, they don't resemble pigs at all. They likely get their name from their bulbous shape and pink coloring, but they're actually a species of sea cucumber. So basically all they do is they crawl along the ocean floor, but they live in very, very cold conditions and some of them have been found in ice because it does get so cold. They suck up organic nutrients with their tube-like appendages and often stay to themselves, eating things that have fallen from the ocean surface and settled to the bottom. I have never heard or seen these things until I did research for this video. They are so, so cute. And I feel like it's a good way to end this video because a lot of the stuff we talked about is so dark and creepy. So it's good to just end with sea pigs. <laughs> anyway, so guys, those are all the ones we're gonna be talking about today. If you can think of any other creepy things that were found frozen in ice, definitely comment them down below. And if you would like to win this background behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Twitter page, follow me there, and comment your favorite Coraline character on my pinned tweet. And if you've never seen Coraline before, you know the deal. All you have to say is, Jesse, I love your backdrop, but I've never seen Coraline. Anyways, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. I feel like my whole outro has changed because of the craziness going in this world, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!